Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be talking about rounding and we're also going to be talking about converting between fractions, decimals, and percentages. So starting off with rounding, it's going to be really quick. So the idea is if you have so many digits and we want to round to say this digit you look at the digit to the right of it to see what to round the circle digit to. Right? So for 5 and above we're going to be rounding up. For 4 or below we round down which just means that we're not going to change the number that's circled. So if we round up, the number that's circled goes up by one. If we round down, we just cut off the rest of the decimals and we don't change the circled number. Alright, so let's take a look at what that means. So example 24, round $2.149 to the nearest cent. All right, so nearest cent means to the nearest hundredth. So the four is the one that we're going to be either rounding or not, which means we look at the nine. Right? The nine is bigger than five, so that means we're going to round up. So we just add one to the four, and it's going to become two dollars and fifteen cents. That's it. For number twenty-five, round one twenty-five point eight four six three two to the nearest tenth. So nearest tenth means we look or we're going to be rounding the 8 and we look at the 4. 4 is less than 5 which means we're going to round down. So rounding down just means ignore all of these decimals over here. Don't touch the 8 though. 8 still stays an 8 and we're going to get 125 point eight. All right. We're just going to have those two examples for now because later in this lesson we're going to be doing some more rounding anyway so we'll get some more practice there. All right. So the next thing we want to do is talk about fractions to decimals to percentages. So here's the basic idea. To convert from any one of these, you're either going to be dividing, multiplying by 100, or dividing by 100. All right? So we're going to take a number and we're going to do a full little lap of this just so we know exactly how to get from one to the next. All right? So let's say that we start with three-fourths. All right, so from fraction to decimal, this little pyramid says that we divide. So just in your calculator, just divide three by four. Your calculator should give you 0.75. Right? That's the decimal. Alright, if we want to go from a decimal to a percentage, we take that decimal and we multiply it by 100. Alright, so we do 0.75 times 100. Oh, sorry about that, covered it up. 0.75 times 100 will get us 75. All right. 
And just one quick note, when you multiply by 100, all that really means is we're taking the decimal place and we move it over 2. So 0.75 becomes 75. All right, last thing. So we have our 75%. If we wanted to get from there to a fraction, then we take 75 and we divide it by 100. Now, since we want to get to a fraction, we're not going to plug this into our calculator because our calculator is going to give us a decimal. Instead, we're just going to reduce the fraction. So I can see both of these are divisible by 25. And if we divide both those by 25, 75 divided by 25 is 3. 100 divided by 25 is 4. And we get back to the 3 fourths that we started with. All right. So whatever you start with, you can just follow this little triangle around, and it'll get you to wherever you need to end up. All right, so let's take a look at this little table of examples. So for each row, we're just going to use whatever we start with, and we're going to find the other two. So starting with 1 sixth, to get to a decimal, we just put 1 sixth in our calculator. All right. If you put that in your calculator, you're going to get that is 0.1666666. And that 6 just keeps repeating. And then eventually you'll see a 7 at the end because your calculator can't just keep going forever. All right. Now, in the problems, it will usually tell you what you need to actually round to. In our case, I'm just going to say that we're going to round to four decimal places, right? As in, we're rounding to right here. We're going to look at this six. Six is bigger than five, so we round up. So our decimal is going to be 0.1667 because we rounded up. All right, now we need to take that and we need to get it to a percentage. So to get that decimal as a percent, we're going to multiply by 100, which again just means move the decimal point 2 to the right. And we're going to get 16.67%. And that's it. So for the next one, starting with a decimal, so just to follow that same order of our little triangle up there, I'm going to go ahead and do percent next, All right, just because that's the way the arrows flowed. You can go from decimal straight to fraction, it's very easy, but since we need all three of them anyway, might as well just follow that same order so we don't get messed up. So to get to a percentage, take the decimal move it two to the right. Now in this case I have this little weird gap next to the two. Any gaps just put a zero in because you gotta have something there. So we're gonna have 20 percent. All right now percent to fraction. We just take our percentage which was 20 and we divide it by 100 then reduce so both of those are divisible by 20 so if we reduce that we end up with 1 fifth and then we're done we got all three all right next one is 30 percent so 30 percent 
if we want to take that and put it as a fraction, we do 30 over 100. Both of those are divisible by 10. So we get 3 tenths as our fraction. And then again, to get the decimal, just put that fraction in your calculator. 3 divided by 10 in your calculator, and you will get 0.3. Okay. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you did want to go straight from a percent to a decimal, know that you can just by moving that decimal place back. So we moved the decimal two places to the right to get to a percent. So if we did want to go straight from the percent to the decimal, just move it back two to the left and you'll get there. All right, next row, 0.375, and we want to get that to a percent and to a fraction. So first thing is percent, so just move it two to the right, and we get that it's 37.5%. All right, next up, we want it as a fraction. So we have 37.5 over 100. Now, we're now left with a decimal at the top of a fraction. We don't want to deal with that. All right, mixing decimals and fractions together, that just looks ugly. So in order to make it just a normal looking fraction, what we're going to do is we're just going to move that decimal to the right one, do the same thing on bottom, which gives us 375 over 1,000. Right? It's just going to be easier to do our reducing and the step after it. But if we do want to go ahead and reduce, then 375 and 1,000, both divisible by 125. And if you do that, you end up with 3 eighths. And that would be our answer. All right, next row, 5 eighths as a fraction. So 5 eighths to a decimal, just put it in your calculator. If you put that in your calculator, you're going to end up with 0.625. All right, now to get that to a decimal, sorry, to a percentage, move the decimal point 2 to the right, and we end up with 62. 0.5%. Alright, next one. We have 0 0.40. So to get that to a percent, move the decimal two to the right. We end up with 40%. And to get the fraction, we do 40 over 100, both of those are divisible by 20, and we end up with the answer 2 fifths. Alright, last row. So we start off with 25%. To turn that into a fraction, we do 25 over 100. Both of those are divisible by 25, so we get 1 fourth if we divide them both. Lastly, to get it into a decimal. So if we want to make it into a decimal, just plug it into your calculator, 1 divided by 4, and your calculator will tell you it is 0.25.
and that's all there is to converting between these three. Remember, you don't necessarily always have to do it in the order of this triangle, but it usually is just a little bit easier if you always kind of get in a rhythm of doing it in a certain order.